Shall we please be upstanding? I want us to worship the Lord. All hail the power of Jesus' name. Let's say just prostrate for letting just prostrate for bring forth this verse 2 says that we should give unto the Lord glory due unto him unto his name and worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness I want us to lift up our voices tonight and worship the King of Kings the Lord of Lords the Most High God the Lord that reigns in majesty the unchangeable changer the lover of our souls let us bless his holy name. Let us worship him in the beauty of holiness tonight. Let's just give him all praise. He deserves it all. He deserves it all. Let's open our mouth and give him all the glory, all the honor, all the adoration. Oh, yes, Father, we worship you. Lord, we magnify your holy name. There is none like you, the Holy One of Israel. The great I am that is I am, we extol you. We say, Daddy, you are worthy. You are worthy. You are faithful. You are glorious in holiness and fearful in praises, doing wonders. Blessed, blessed be your holy name. Daddy, we exalt you. We say, Daddy, this evening, even as we are worshiping you, O oh God, tonight, please, Lord, accept us and accept our worship in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have worshipped. According to the book of Lamentations, chapter 3, verse 22 and 23, we are going to thank him. Because the Bible tells us in that passage that it is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed. And that it is his faithfulness that endures from morning to morning. That is why we are alive. Those of us that are called by his name. We have so many reasons to thank our God tonight. Number one, if you cannot think of anything at all, our just concluded convention was a wow. Ha <laughs> ha. When the announcement came out that first to tenth was going to be a time of protest in Nigeria, I said, Father, you have done it before. During the season of Abiola trouble, Everybody was canceling program. But Redeemed Christian Church of God held the convention that year. And the name of the Lord was glorified. So I said, we are going to do it again. And honestly, I was thrilled when it was Saturday morning and we were rounding up the convention. I want us to thank God, our Heavenly Father, the God of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, the God of Abakin on me, the God of Daddy Adeboye, let us give him thanks. Let us appreciate him. Oh, yes, give him thanks. Give him thanks. Give him thanks. Give him thanks. The child that knows how to th think will always know how to thank. Let us thank the Lord tonight for his goodness towards us as a church. Everybody was wondering what kind of church is RCCG. When everybody is saying there was a protest, they said they want to hold a convention. And we had the convention. And it was a glorious time in his presence. Oh, thank you, Father Lord. Daddy, we appreciate you. There is none like you. 
promise fulfilling God, covenant keeping God. We know that it is your covenant with RCCG that we are enjoying. That is why our own is different. Father, we thank you. Lord, we appreciate you. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Brethren, I want you to join me to thank God for our father and our mother. Daddy and mommy, Jill. <laughs> Hallelujah. The Lord has given us wonderful parents. I don't know of, I don't know the way you think, but the way I think is that I, I, I can't find a parent like them anywhere around. I mean, wonderful father, glorious mother. They are so full of compassion. They have a, their hearts enlarged with love. And they are extending this love to everybody all over the world. Especially us in RCCG. I want you to thank the Lord. That the Lord helped them to, to, to hold this successful convention. I want us to thank God. That the Lord kept them. That the Lord strengthened them. That the Lord gave them grace to walk through those 10 days. Ah, without any one of them, you know, having any issue health-wise at their various ages. You remember that he's 82. He went about doing this work during the convention like I looked at myself, I asked myself, what are you doing? Let us thank God for their lives, for the way the Lord has been strengthening them, for the way the Lord has been carrying them in the hollows of his hands, for the way the Lord has been sustaining them. For the way the Lord has been renewing their strength, Daddy, we thank you. For Daddy and Mommy, Lord, we say thank you. For strength, we say thank you. For rejuvenating their bodies, we say thank you. For re-energizing them, Daddy, we say thank you. Daddy, we can never thank you enough. For taking care of them for us, Daddy, we say thank you. Oh, maseke le brayanda mason tori baba baba. Lerebosh, maseke lindaya maseke makuria. For giving us wonderful parents in them, Daddy, we say thank you. For giving us caring parents in them, we say thank you. For giving us, oh God, wonderful mentors in them, we say thank you. Blessed, blessed be your holy name. Daddy, we worship you. We magnify your name. We say, Daddy, we are grateful. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. I want us to thank God, brethren, for our individual lives and families that we are alive today in him. It is by his mercy. It's not of him that will let, of him that run it, but of our God that showeth mercy. That you are alive, that I'm alive today, let us say thank you to Baba. He deserves our appreciation. He is the one that has been keeping us. He is the one that has been sustaining us. He is the one that has been protecting us from every evil. Oh, Marava Shantalea. Even in this season when everybody is crying, casting down, he is the one that has been lifting us up. Let us appreciate our Father. Oh, thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Lord. We appreciate you. You are just awesome. You are just wonderful to us. We can never, ever thank you enough. Daddy, we can't thank you too much. We appreciate you today, Lord. Please accept our thanks and praises. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we have given thanks. I want us to thank God for this first Holy Ghost service in this new redeemed year that you are here that i'm here he deserves our thanksgiving because it is not because we 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 have the money it is not because we have the strength better than others that we are here some people have the, the means of coming they just don't feel like they should come i want us to thank god the father that you have made me to be part of what you are doing even in this new first holy ghost service of the new redeemed year father i thank you let us appreciate our baba let us appreciate our abba father let us say thank you to him baba we thank you for the new redeemed year for this first holy ghost service in the year daddy we say we are grateful we are grateful lord massacre libra santa lebo maleke checheli mosontoria blessed blessed be your name lord in jesus name we have given thanks I want us to go into supplication now. Before we pray any prayer, the Bible tells us in the book of Proverbs chapter 14 verse 34, that righteousness exalts the nation, but sin is a reproach 
to any people. This hour, I want us to ask God to please have mercy on us. In any way that we might have committed any sin, any trespass, any iniquity, any transgression whatsoever, as individuals, as families, as the church of God, even as a nation, let us plead for mercy. Let us ask God to please have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, cleanse us with the blood of Jesus, and give us the grace to sin no more, so that it will always be well with us, so that we will always enjoy his goodness. Let us pray. Father, please have mercy on us tonight. Oh Lord, let your righteousness, oh God, be overwhelm us. Let your righteousness take over our lives. Forgive us of any form of sin, transgression, iniquity, oh God, and any form of unrighteousness tonight. Lord, we plead for mercy. We plead for the blood of Jesus for cleansing so that every prayer that we are going to pray tonight will be, will, will be able to reach unto you, oh God, and we will receive rewards for answer to prayer. In Jesus' mighty and unfailing name, we are prayed. Genesis chapter 15, verse 1b says, Fear not, Abraham, and thy shield, and thy exceeding great reward. I want us to pray tonight that, Father, as you fulfilled your word in the life of Abraham, when he had no child at all, and you were telling him you are his shield and exceeding great reward, and you promised him that his children will be like the sands of the field or of the, uh, by the side of the sea. Come and fulfill your word in my life tonight. I want you to please look down upon me, my father, and let me also obtain exceeding great reward. Be my shield and my exceeding great reward from now henceforth, O oh God. Let us pray in the name of Jesus. Mareboska, Imbra Mayendelebo, Masantali Mama Yekerebo. Father, you promised Abraham that you are going to be his shield, that you, are, you were his shield and his exceeding great reward. Father, and you did it. You fulfilled your promises in his life. You, he was childless at the time you were talking with him. But today we are all claiming because we belong to that word, that promise indeed, that Abrahamic covenant indeed, we are all claiming that we are children of Abraham. Father, Lord, so as you did to Abraham, come and do to me tonight. Come and do to us tonight. Don't let our coming into your presence tonight be in vain. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Every nation is made up of families. Psalm 127 verse 3 says, Lo, children are an heritage of the Lord. And fruit of the womb is his reward. I want us to call on God, unto God this tonight. That Lord, as many that are trusting you for the fruit of the womb, that are here tonight, Almighty Father, please reward them according to your word in this book of Psalm 127 verse 3. Reward them with the fruit of the womb. Those that have come, believing that you are going to meet them at the point of their needs. Those that have come, believing that they will carry their testimony tonight. Jesus, Son of the living God, the, the word from the beginning. Please, Lord, you and us, your word has said it, that you are no man that you will lie, nor the son of man that you will repent. Visit your children tonight. Visit your children tonight. That Lord, if you tarry your coming by this time next year, they will come with bountiful testimonies that yes, last year I was called barren. Today I am mother of children. Lord, let this be their portion in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In the area of fruitfulness, brethren, I want us to talk to God. We all know that it is not only in the area of um, uh, a fruit of the womb that a man can be barren. Tell God, you know your own area of barrenness. Tell him, Baba, I have come tonight. I am not barren inside my womb, but I have this area of barrenness. And I want you to deal with it for me. I want you to make me fruitful. I want you to give me that heavenly reward that will make people to know that I came to this Special Holy Ghost service of fruitfulness. Lord, visit me. Father, touch me. Pray, brethren. Cry unto him and let him hear your voice. Believe in him and 
you, you, uh, 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 that you are going to have your own reward, that you are going to have your own testimony, and so shall it be with you in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we come believing, oh God, that you will visit us. Visit us tonight. Every one of us here, and those that are watching online, that are trusting you for an area of fruitfulness, oh God, in one way or the other, Baba, visit us, touch us, answer us. Baba, look upon us with your eyes of mercy and give us the needed testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, visit us. Baba, please visit us tonight. Oh, Lord, don't let us go empty-handed. Don't let us go the way we came. In the name of Jesus. Masaka Libra Lindeye Masun Toria. In Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Maybe you are here. You are saying, uh, I've been coming for September Holy Ghost service for how long now? I have come again. I have come again. I want you to pray and ask him. Say, Father, reward me with answer to prayer tonight. Reward me with answer to my prayer tonight. Don't let me go empty-handed. Papa, you are not mad that you will lie. When you say you will do a thing, you will do it. You have given our Father this theme for this September Holy Ghost. Heavenly reward. Papa, come and reward me. Tell him in the area where you want him to reward you. Tell him that aspect of your life that needs him to touch you, to make you to be fruitful, to transform your life, to give you a testimony that people will not say, you're always going, what is your reward? Tell him, Baba, give me a reward of prayer tonight. Masakarebo Sontoli, Baba, Baba. Masantalianda Makuri, Mashindebo. Father, give every one of your children, every one of us in your presence tonight, give us reward of answer to prayer. In the name of Jesus. Masotolinda Makuri Masuntoria. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Let us tell God, Father, please get rid of anything that is causing barrenness in my life. Get rid of it from my life tonight. Whatever it may be. What is that thing that is causing barrenness in my life, oh Lord? Maybe you know it. Tell him, Baba, I know this one. Help me to get rid of it. Help me to let go of it. Maybe you don't know it. Tell him, Daddy, that one that I don't know that you know, let the fire of the Holy Spirit consume it in my life. Because from tonight, Lord, I want to become fruitful. I want barrenness to come to an end in my life. Pray, brethren. Oh, mashakalin reboska. Lenderima mama mashakalin dayama suntoria. Father, put an end, O God, of heaven and earth to barrenness in my life. So, the, therefore, Lord, I pray, anything that has been causing barrenness in my life, tonight, let your fire consume it. The one I need to let go of myself, give me the grace to do so. In the name of Jesus, that I might come back, O oh God, to this, to this highest, uh, highly exalted altar, to give testimony of, my, of, of, of your visitation into my life. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. I want us to pray. Like we said, every nation is made up of families. I want us to pray for families that have children that are challenged one way or the other. Maybe it is socially, maybe it is physically, maybe it is mentally, maybe it is in the area of health. Let us lift up all these challenged children in the various families that we belong to all over the places. That to unto God and say, Father, come and look, come, come and find out all these children all over the places where they are. And Lord, please heal them, deliver them from every form of challenge that they are going through. Give them, oh God, your, 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 your healing reward. Give them your deliverance reward. Give them, oh God, reward in, in every area of their lives where they are suffering. In the name of Jesus, oh Father eternal, we pray that, oh God, all children that are challenged in various families. Please, Daddy, have mercy. Have mercy. Heal them, Lord, and deliver them. In the name of Jesus, the children that are wayward, Father, deliver them. In the name of Jesus, the children that have been pinned down by the devil, that they will not prosper, that they will not be able to fulfill destiny. Let your fire deliver them. Let your fire consume every work of the enemy in their lives. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. We have prayed. Psalm 133, verses 1 to 3, says how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Let us pray and tell God, Father, please, Lord, let all our families be bound together. 
with your love, with your cord of unity. In the name of Jesus, let us pray, let us pray, let us pray. Let us pray and let us ask God finally that Father, after everything here in this world, when we will have gotten all the worldly reward, let us be able to make it to your kingdom so that we'll be able to get heavenly reward. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Abba Father. Blessed be your holy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. I will be done. Thy oh, will be done. Thy will be done. Thy will be done.